guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and welcome to my studio. Today is part 2 of our tutorial how to retouch portrait photography in Adobe Photoshop. In part 1 we started with this um, image, it's a raw file and we finished with this um, image. Today I will show to you how you can retouch your nail polish uh, change a color of her lipstick and maybe change color of her eyes. Let's start guys. First of all, I will create in, I will duplicate my layer just to show to you before and after and I will create a new empty layer. Now I will select the clone stamp tool. In the options bar I will specify mode to normal, opacity 100% and I will specify um, sample current and below. Let me zoom in my document for better preview just like that. So I have selected my uh, the clone stamp tool and uh, most importantly I specify sample for current and below. Now I need to uh, fix uh, unperfection in her uh, nail polish. I will click and hold option bar and I will click in the area next to the area I want to retouch. Example, I want to um, fill out this white gap with a nail uh, polish. So I will click and hold my option bar and I will click to the area next to this empty gap just like this. And now I will paint it just like that. How great is it? And I will continue doing same. I will click in sample area next to area I would like to retouch and I will retouch it. Just like that guys. It's super super simple. Perfect. If you made any mistake, don't uh, stress out. You work on separate layer. You can retouch and fix everything. Just like that. So let me finish uh, fixing this area just like that. You can make your brush size bigger or smaller, smaller depending on area you are working on. Just like this guys. Look at this. How easy is it? Perfect. And definitely, guys, definitely, you can spend more time to do a better job. As usual, I don't want to keep you here longer than it's supposed to be. Just like this. And let me fix this area. Because I work on separate layer, just like that, I can adjust this layer in any ways. I can change blending mode. Just like that, I can change opacity of uh, this layer at any time. But uh, let me first of all, let me zoom in more and I need to fix this part as well. So I will be back to my clone stamp tool and I will bring down size of my brush. Also, you can change size to any size you are more comfortable with. And I will fix this area just like this, guys. Look at this. If I made mistake, I will undo it. And now I'm pretty much happy with everything I have. I will merge my uh, the clone stamp uh, tool layer and uh, layer under this uh, layer, just like that. Merge down. And now I will fix her nail polish using a spot healing brush tool. I have selected the spot healing brush tool. I will bring down up size of this brush. In the options bar, I will specify mode to normal and type content aware. And using this tool, I will fix not perfection areas, just massaging it. Look at these guys. And again, definitely you can spend more time to fix everything in the way you like, in the way you will say, oh, this is perfect. So now we fixed her nail polish just like that. It's super, super easy. You can continue fixing um, nail polish era, uh, um, with entire image. So example, I have area I would like to fix um, 
in here and in this area guys i will use another tool so i will switch to patch tool in the options bar i will specify patch to normal and i will specify source and now guys I, using my patch tool i will select the area i would like to fix just like that and i will drag this area to the uh, area um, next to it just like this and voila and i will fix this area look at this guys how easy is it now now let's talk about um, lipstick color i like her uh, lipstick it's very nice it's very complimenting her uh, skin tone and everything but i would like to add a little bit more contrast i would like to have a lip um, lips color close to her eyeshadow color so what i will do i will zoom in i will switch to quick selection tool and i will select her lips just like this don't um scream right now oh victoria what are you doing you're selecting her teeth as well don't be worried guys i will fix it just in a second so i selected her lip lips and also i selected her teeth how can i fix it it's easy in the options bar while my quick selection tool is selected i will switch to the icon with minus sign and i will tell photoshop that i don't want to include her teeth in my selection just like this and voila if i would like to add some area to my selection i will switch to uh, the icon with plus a sign and i will include this area in my selection just like this so now i selected her ellipse and i will click on adjustment panel here i have very beautiful icon hue saturation i will click on it and i will move my sliders yes guys just very simple i will move my sliders look at this it's not perfect i can change her lipstick in any ways i like guys in any ways i like example i like this color on her now let me zoom out and let's fix just like this guys look this is before our uh, lipstick color and this is after now her um lipstick color complementing her eyeshadow, shadow and i love it a lot look at this how easy is it now guys how about her eyes color can we fix her eyes color sure we can let me zoom in my document i will highlight I will select my um, image layer. I will switch to same quick selection tool and I will select her eye just like that. And I selected more than I wanted. So I will switch to the icon with minus sign and I will fix it just like that. And maybe I will add this area my selection yes perfect let me zoom out now i will switch to my adjustment panel one more time and i will click on hue saturation icon again just like that and now i will move my sliders again guys look at this how perfect is it but we have one non-perfection in here we applied color to her highlight how can i fix it i will highlight my um adjustment layer as you notice um adjustment uh, layer comes with a layer mask i will click on layer mask i will switch to my simple brush tool with a black color and i will paint out area around her highlights just like this this is before our um eye color changed and this is after now i would like to change color on her another eye same principle i will um, select my image layer i will switch to my uh, quick selection tool and i will select her eye just like that 
not perfect i will switch to another icon with a minus i um, sign and i will fix my selection just like this now i will um bring by, back my adjustment uh, panel i will click on hue saturation and again i will move my sliders just like that now I need to fix her highlights as well. I will highlight my um, uh, layer mask icon. I will switch to um, simple brush tool with black color and I will paint out area around her highlights. Just like that. Let me zoom out. Guys, look at this. Let me merge all our layers we just added. I will hide my previous layers and I will merge visible just like that. Now guys, I will show to you before um, our um, adjustments and after. This is the image we are started from with our first uh, tutorial and this is image we finished with. Look at this before and after. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all your comments. Super appreciated. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. If you would like to learn about some specific tools, just let me know. And again, guys, thank you so much for your time and I will see you later. Bye.